summer is over, folks. That's right. I am the Mighty Plantain, and summer is sadly over. So why, you may ask, do I have a summer beer? This is Sierra Nevada's Summerfest Crisp Lager. And I'll tell you why I have a summer beer in the middle of fall. Um, thanks to a viewer suggestion. Thanks very much, Steve, by the way, for sending that in. I was looking and looking and looking for this beer. I was given some really good, uh, well, I was told it was really good. Let's just put it that way. And I was looking around for this thing, and I couldn't find it in any of my local beer stores. But I did track it down in a little out-of-the-way place uh, in Windsor, Maine, called Huzzy's General Store. I happened to be on my way to the Windsor Fair, and I knew that Huzzy's is actually put together quite a decent selection of craft beer over the years. Back when I first started shopping there, it was just Budweiser, Bud Light, Miller, Miller, you know, the, the, the domestic high volume selling stuff and nothing much else. But uh, they've started catering to the market. Um, so I was able to find this tucked away in the back there. Now, just to give you a little idea of the kind of place I'm talking about, Huzzy's General Store has been in Windsor, Maine for years now, and there's a picture you find it in all kinds of meme listicles on the internet. Uh, the sign out front of the store says, Guns, Wedding Gowns, and Cold Beer. Or maybe it's Wedding Gowns, Cold Beer, and Guns. I can't remember what order it's in, but you know they're basically implying, the, let's get drunk and have a shotgun wedding. Well, here's the thing. They're not kidding. The Wedding Gown section is upstairs, along with prom dresses, and they do have guns and cold beer and plenty of ammo. Nothing scared the shit out of me more than walking into that place in the morning, grabbing a couple of things for breakfast, and seeing some dude grabbing a 30 rack and a box of shotgun shells. Some things don't mix with beer, folks. Guns, bullets, shooting them off, fireworks. Hey, I love fireworks. I love guns, too. But, uh, you know, they, they don't mix with alcohol. Come on, let's smarten the fuck up. Anyway. I digress. They've got a really great selection of uh, craft beer down there, and I did manage to find this tucked in the back. So, uh, Summerfest is a Czech-style lager featuring a slight malt sweetness, a spicy hop flavor, and the crisp finish you want on a warm summer day. Well, guess what? We're in the middle of a bit of an Indian summer here in Maine. It's supposed to be in the 80s this weekend, at the end of September. So it's been happening more and more lately in the most recent years. We just hit this spike of high temps in the middle of, uh, in the very beginning of autumn. So, I don't feel that bad drinking this because it's pretty damn hot out right now. It's pretty damn hot in here. As a matter of fact, it's a little sweltering. I could have turned that AC on over there. That is very effervescent, very clear. It looks very crisp. Quite light in color. Yeah. Look at the way the light's playing off those little itty bitty bubbles, and there's lots of those bubbles coming up from the bottom. Um, this is a very light beer. Kind of a straw yellow color. Very pale yellow, but quite nice. Be a hint of hoppy bitterness in the aroma. About like a, a weedy aroma. Eh, Czech style lager. Eh, it could be a wheat base, but. Doesn't say, but. But just a very light, grainy aroma. And a slight hint of hoppy bitterness without a particular character. Just, just hoppy bitterness. No particular notes coming out in that. It does smell crisp and refreshing. Everything about this beer is crisp. The, the color, the aroma, and the taste. It's actually quite cool. Cool and refreshing and crisp. I, that's it's a great summer beer. I mean, just just in the character of the beer alone. It's got a very nice light mouth feel. But not watery at all. 
Um, it's got a very nice grainy texture and character to it. A light texture and character, but a very light, gr but distinctly grainy. Um, I keep coming back to wheat, and I'll have to look it up and find out, but it, it, it reminds me very much of a nice wheat beer. I can't remember if Czech style lagers are supposed to be heavily weeded or not. I really don't look into the, the history of the beer styles other than the generalities. Mm. And the obvious stuff, because I like to approach these with them. Well, let's just say it. I'm, I'm lazy and I don't do my research. Um, <laughs> but I put a spin on that by saying that I, I like to approach these with like an, an everyman uh, mindset. But, bottom line is, it's a very crisp, very refreshing, very light beer. Um, with a nice grainy character to it and a little bit of hoppy bitterness in the finish. Um, so all together, a really well put together beer. Uh, I would love this during the summer. Hell, I'm loving it on a nice hot autumn day. But I can see this being drank very quickly <laughs> outdoors at the beach around the campfire pretty much anything you do in the summer. Um, I do see it disappearing very quickly, but it, it makes me think of any of those nice, ooh, pardon. You know, t typically when I'm, I'm gonna sit around in the hot sun and drink beer, I'm gonna go for a uh, nice, cheap, easy to drink beer. <laughs> the hiccups are trying to settle in. And um, this is definitely not a cheap beer or a crappy beer. It is a very easy to drink, refreshing and crisp summer beer though. And I can see this being a nice go-to um, when you really want something that is as easy to drink as a Bud Light, a Coors Light or a Miller Light, but has a little more character. Because this beer definitely has character. And because of that, it is a probably the um, the summer beer that I've had this year that has the most character. I got to put this at a solid four out of five. Um, it's going to go down fast and easy, and it's really well put together. And like I said, it's got more character than any other light summery beer that I've had in recent memory. So I got to give it some high marks. So, thank you very much, Steve, for the suggestion. It was a great beer. I do agree with you. It's, it's awesome. Um, and uh, I'll be looking for it next year. I might go straight to Huzzies at the beginning of the summer since none of my local beer stores seem to carry it. But uh, that's just what I think. Hit me up down in the comments, the email link down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Love to hear your thoughts on the beer. While you're down there, make sure to click like and share, and also subscribe. When you subscribe to the channel, you get the notification every time I post a new beer review. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.